Hey everybody, welcome back to the adventures of the Pacific Pounder. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of peas. Okay, let's make a little bit of a plan. All we need to do is take another drive. That's our plan to chart new roads, explore. And that's what we're going to do. We have some options here. Uh, we have a lot of buildings along this road that we could probably stop and hit. And then we have two close gateways, actually. Uh, or anchor signals, I should say. The gateways are what opens when we, when we take those. Um... And I do want to get a bunch of energy because I want to work on our upgrades. Uh, we only need one K limb, okay? Whatever method of metrics that is. But uh, that's up to this red line on the right. So one of these will probably be fine. But I'd like to get both. Another cool thing that I wanted to, to quickly talk about is um, we have learned a lot about uh, Ophelia Turner in some of the notes. And I, I don't think I've mentioned this verbally. But uh, Ophelia Turner oh, is Oppie, Lord, and a lot of you guys are like, yeah, duh, we know right that, because oh, they told us. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do you mean, what? Whoa. Hallucinations, like the ones from 1961. It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking you. Wait, you didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver head first into Cappy didn't work out like you said. <laughs> Big surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically, yeah, somewhere Whoa. in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. It's been... 40 years. Huh. So they're referencing... So we... After we flew into the anomaly thing, we triggered a hallucination. And it sounds like that hasn't happened for about 40 years. And it only lasted three seconds, but that's still significant, because, you know, mass hallucinations aren't normal. Or are they, tinfoil hat? Or are they? Um, I want to read that thing that we picked up about shakers and that's not all this hallucination wave that triggered we'll we wait. picked up its waveform and it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnants waveform they're paired signals it means they're related and, and and what's more if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver a simple destructive interference <laughs> this is insane after all this time, we find a remnant, a uh, lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Bitch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. <laughs> the remnants. It was a key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <laughs> I... I need to go. Okay. This is huge, Francis. We have so much work to do. I know. I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And then and, and, and be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. Francis seems to be the one that I can trust the most. Oppie, a little bit understandable that she, uh,. You know, we've kind of, like, just taken over her garage, and she's like, hey, dude. She, she's the one that seems to have created all this technology, right? So, she seems pretty, um, well-versed. And probably rightfully so, a little bit hesitant of us. But what they're mentioning is they want to break us free of our remnant. And my thought process is, like... What if I don't want that? Like, I'm... I like my... <laughs> uh, I'm attached already. I'm not super thrilled about the idea of them just... Forcing me to... To break that, you know? Not to say that it won't happen. Or that that might not change. But right now, I'm like, this is... This is what I have. This is what I know. I don't want to mess with that. Okay. Now let's see if we can read the... Um, what was this called? 
What was it? Was it Shakers? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to remember our esteemed, honored, and oh-so-kind colleague, Eric Gordon. Taken from us far too soon, Eric was a shining light in our lives. Let us remember him for his achievements, his humor, and his grace. Let us remember him how he lived and not how he died. Propelled as he was 600 feet into the air by a sudden blast of hot corrosive slime. I know our hearts are all so heavy today, and we only wish Eric could also have been heavier. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not flowing quite so far. What the hell am I saying? And recording and recording. That's pretty funny, actually. Okay. Um, okay. So that's that. I could run over there, but... I'm gonna... Take the vehicle. Probably shouldn't be leaving my lights on. Probably not good for the old bats. Paint stripper and off-white paints. Nice. Ideal shade for those worried about causing offense. Making a statement or feeling the faintest twinge of passion. <laughs> yeah, nice. Paint stripper. Diochloromethane based solution is a rapid and perhaps even safe way to strip automotive paint. Do not drink. Avoid contact with skin, eyes, or mucous membranes. Huh. So you could give your car like a... Like aluminum or steel look, probably. Oh, hello. Uh, can I pry bar this, maybe? Oh, electrician's kit. Yeah, that totally makes sense. This is locked. This is the, They always say the same thing about keys. Okay, let me see if I can make that. We have not seen that yet. Not a broken one. We have in our, well, in Oppie's garage, we do have a locked door. Let's store these in here. Oh, I'm, you know what? I don't even know if we have access to this yet. Huh. Where's the statuses again? Right here. Yeah, electrician's kit. Yeah, I don't have that, guys, so... We're out of luck there. Okay, so that is something that we should look at, at potentially upgrading then. Uh, and we have a storm coming. Not a huge storm. It's localized, but it's on the move. So, in terms of, of upgrades, here's what I'm thinking. We definitely want storage, right? Because that's kind of a limiting factor on these runs. We want storage for us. We want storage for the car. We want storage for the shop. We want all the storage. And I'm actually going to turn my car off because I don't want to drain the battery. Which reminds me, I might need to build a, uh, a battery charger. And then I'm thinking maybe some, some off-road tires, speak of the devil. I should scan this. ARDA fuel tanker. By the early 60s, gasoline was vital to the production of electricity. Portable diesel generators became the primary way of powering the majority of structures and equipment within the zone. And we were almost useless with, without it. Power grids were failing daily, even several times a day. Batteries drained with preternatural speed. And even shielded equipment was frequently degrading or producing inexplicable malfunctions. Entire convoys of tankers crisscrossed the peninsula. We piped in untold gallons of the stuff every day, adding more industrial-sized piping alongside all the fresh water we were trying to pull in. When everything else failed, good old petrochemicals still did their job. We must have pumped so much lead into the air, into the zone, for it to scramble into the omelette it was forever making of our world. I guess that was about the time more and more animal life was dying off. God, did we make everything worse? Yeah, we're humans. That's what we do. I generally believe uh, humans as a whole do have, like, best intentions. But we just don't know when to stop, you know? We always just kind of push things, take things a little bit further than we probably should. And, you know, that's our nature. I don't think it's... I don't think that will ever change. Man, I don't know what that noise is. And I'm also fine if I never find out. 
Holy, a door that we can just walk into, believe it or not. Oh, um, I wanted to mention, too, for the transmuters. So I talked to uh, the developers, and we were, we were correct with the pie in how it's telling you how many transmuting, how many times you can transmute, right? And you can get the output. But uh, the, the input amount isn't defined anywhere. And I have a feeling that that's something that they will be adding, but... That's, um, that would be really nice to have. Uh, so, it seems like, Hurricane Squall, sudden and dramatic change in atmospheric pressures produce powerful but extremely localized winds. Oh, am I in the thing? Can this push my car? Oh, it can. Oh my god. I'm in the thing. Okay. Not... Wait, what? No. I'm literally trying to drive forward, and it's pushing me backwards. Holy smokes. Like, I'm driving? Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, the car wasn't on. But look, I am still fighting the wind. That's wild. <laughs> I'm driving? Look, I can't steer. Because this is literally going straight into the wind. I wonder if I'm better off walking. Okay, push, push, push. Yeah, it's easier for us to walk. Okay, look, we're starting the vehicle. Come on. Going straight's not so bad, but turning. Nope. Not with the wind. Alright, this is the last stop before we go and hit those energy things, I think. Oh, this could be a problem. I don't want to get chucked into these guys. Is that enough for a chain? It's not. Whoa! Alright. We'll take that. But let's keep this place... Well, there's not a lot of light. I was going to say, let's keep this place powered on for a second. I'm going to need another scrapper soon, another pry bar soon. Impact hammer still okay for the time being. Happy to have the electronics. Okay, I will dump this stuff and come back. Just a little bit of leftover radiation. Not a big deal. No big deal. 2.5Ks. We can handle that.
Alright, let's move. Oh my god. Yeah, so they they do pop up. I'm not I'm not I'm not losing my mind. They just show. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. Uh you know what I will make though? Let's make a uh a battery jumper, because I know that we didn't have them when we set out. Okay. Now what I'm thinking is we go for this one that's kind of deep in the heart of middle of nowhere. And then we could scramble over to that one. And maybe get both. That would be sick. Well, that was a that was a bit of a leap of faith. When we get there, I want to position our vehicle to be facing directly towards where I need to go. It's going to be in that direction, but there is a giant log there. Okay. This is gonna be smooth. Oh my god. The tourists. Okay, so we see our gateways. It's interesting that they'll spawn these gateways that are too close that you cannot use. Those pink things? I believe that's what those are. Yeah, gateway too close. I think maybe the idea is that you have to trigger a gateway from your car, like at a, at a certain distance. I'm not sure what the lore reasoning is, but... I'll take this. Thank you. God, she looks good in the darkness, doesn't she? Look at her lights. Oh, beautiful lights. I'm not too keen on driving through this. But I might not have a choice. I bet you I can't climb this hill. Oh my god. Yep, I see it. I see it. Get out of here. Get out. Uh, people might ask, like, hey, why don't we run the radio more? And I, I did mention this. Uh, yeah, see, I, I, can't, I can't climb this. Um, but there's some copyright music on there, and then the videos can get flagged and stuff, so... I've got uh, streamer mode on, which prevents it from auto-playing, but I notice sometimes it still, it still does. Okay, I need to find my way around this giant hill. is proving to be quite a pain in the ass. Woohoo! That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> All things considered. Okay, well, we're gonna hit the road, and then we can cycle back up. And the car's only, like, you know, it's fine. Like, look at the damage meter. We're doing fine. 
It's good. It's meant to take a beating. It's, it's not a delicate little machine, you know? She's made to take a pounding. Hence the name. The Pacific Pounder. That is the origin story, by the way. Or, we're pounding the pavement at the Pacific is another consideration of the potential legend behind the Pacific Pounder name. Okay. So I'm gonna clear this as well. And then we'll steal that thing. By steal, I mean... Yeah, I guess it is sort of just stealing, let's be honest. All the energies. Okay, now... So I bet you. I betcha that I just have to be outside that circle to trigger it. Let, let me just, let's do a little test. And the ones that are next to us here, I betcha they light up as we leave. Keep it on the one to the south of us. Yep, see that? So now we have an option. We either turn around and go back to here, or we head up here. Now, the thing is, when we trigger this, the storm will happen, right? And from what I've seen, the storms, they come in from the edge, so I feel like triggering one that's in the center is probably a little bit better. Like, this one's probably ideal. But I'm just gonna get it so we have a marker. Yes, I have that big thing, but sometimes if you're behind something, we'll get stuck. Or you won't be able to see it if it's like behind a rock formation or trees or whatever. Okay, now come on. Not get anything too nutty here. We got big boy energy coming back. 2.5k limbs. Take me. <laughs> Clean little excursion right there. Very clean little excursion. Love that for us. Pretty quick trip, but we got a lot of energy. I... I owe you an apology. Oh, wow. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time. So we've but heard. I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Diagnose the car. So, quirks. Now, this is something that we dabbled with in the demo, but we, I could never figure out what to actually dumpster yet? make happen. It's behind the shop. If you're ever in dire need, pay it a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. Certain components and equipment that you will install in your car have abilities that need to be activated. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's not what I want. We want... 
Uh, quirks. Where are you, though? Car is your shield, charging the battery, crafting drive, instability, quick slots. Ah, here we go. Over its lifetime, the car can develop quirks, ranging from curious to the supremely annoying. Uh, something you're doing may be causing something else to happen. Perhaps even two things. Perhaps even a chain of things. Pay close attention to your car. You'll have to diagnose what's wrong before you can fix it at the tinker station. Sweet. So we will try to do that. Uh, let me just empty this into here. Okay, sweet. Let's see what you got. Oh. A scrapper. I mean, okay, I'll take a new one. And I'll take a flare. Sweet. Let's try to tinker. So we know, and let's observe, when I close the trunk, <laughs> the horn goes. Right? The tinker station. If your car ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it is malfunctioning in some unusual way, this will help you understand how. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, the, uh, the horn is honked when the trunk closes. So make diagnosis, yep. Bad guess, zero out of four, correct. Fixes. Diagnostics required. Okay, what? Hold on. <laughs> it's clearly that's what it is. Let's try this again. So... Oh, I, maybe I have to do it the other way. Let's say trunk is closed. Horn honks. Gotta be it, right? Yes. Guess refunded. Okay, sweet. Fixes. Here's what you need to fix this. Mechanics kit. Alright. Missing ingredients. Okay. So, let's do this. Mechanics kit. Boom. Let's come here. Fixes. Mechanics kit. Select. Fix quirk. <laughs> cool. Diagnose and cure a quirk. Horn honks when trunk closed, fixed. Yeah, so interesting. So I guess you go with problem caused by, like, that's the way to think about it. Very cool. I'm excited to see what kind of other quirks we might get. There might even be quirks we want to keep. And that one I, I even said earlier, I was like, I think we might just want to keep it because it's kind of, kind of cutesy and fun, you know? But whatevs. Okay, a couple things we need to do. Let's focus up here. There was um, electrician's kit. Yeah. So this is something that will allow us to get into the, the locked or broken keypads, right? There's a blowtorch. You need unstable energy for that. The hand vac. We have one, but this will allow us to create our own. Liberator. This is the thing that carefully removes individual sections of a vehicle. That's kind of sweet, too. But I need to focus on the, the things that I definitely, definitely want. Um, this I definitely want. Okay, electrician's kit. Done. Improvised but perfectly serviceable meter and analysis tool. Good. Now we want, we want storage. Big time. Big, big time. So where can I find that? We have side racks. Here, side storage. This is what we want. Okay, cool. Inventory reinvented. A little extra trunk space never hurt anyone. So we have all of these different options of where to put it. So if I'm in here... This just lists everything for me. Side storage. We'll craft this. And Bob's your uncle. 
That is awesome. Okay, sweet. Now, the thing is, I would like to have even more, like, side racks if I can. But I feel like those are each coming from specific unlocks here. Is that correct? Side racks. Yeah, it is. And it's using a full, like, one <laughs> of all of this. So I think maybe we're okay with just that right now. However, in the garage, expanded locker would be nice. This is going to use 0.5. Totally okay with this. Oh, we've got options. One of humanity's finest and greatest creations was surely the shelf. <laughs> Celebrate these wonderful inventions by arranging several of them in order before neatly fronting them with some doors and make the whole thing bigger than the previous version you had. Exciting, isn't it? Yes, actually. Very nice. Okay. So, what we could do here, just to keep things a little bit on the, the tidier side, uh, let's transfer all materials, grab these, and we'll just keep everything nice and neatly organized in here. I do feel like we probably do draw from every place in here, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Okay, we have 0.9 energy left. We talked about storage. We have that. However, what about my backpack storage? Is that a thing that I can do? Um, let's just see what the options are. So garage, survival tools. I don't think that's going to be it. Lights, car body, wheels, expansion racks. Oh, look at this. XL roof storage, a trunk in the trunk. We need unstable though. Okay, so some of these were gated by the ability to just find things. Uh, unstable energy being one of them. This lightning rod is interesting. Ever argue about whether Frankenstein was the doctor or the monster? Now you can argue about whether it's the mechanic or the vehicle. Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it straight to your battery. Scan a wriggling wreck anomaly is what we need to do that. Sure. I mean, that would be sweet. Uh, unstable energy there. Okay, so for now, that's all we can do for the battery is what we have. Utilities, limb pulse emitter. This is not a pun. It's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses. This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro-organic enemies to hold on to or harm the vehicle. Nice. So this is actually... This is... Um, Something that could help us deal with those abductors and stuff. I don't have enough stable energy for it, but still pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Engine-wise, there's turbo light engines. I need four stable energy to do that, but that would be sick. Because we get our car just absolutely ripping. That would be nice. I don't have enough stable energy for um, off-road wheels yet. But maybe we just get into the... Maybe we get into the steel panels now. Oh, here. No, nope, this is outfitting station. Expanded locker. So I got one. Looks like you can just, you have to go up, up, up and get a bunch. Parts lockers, rapid refill pumps. Oh, sweet. Experimental charging. Junction restabilizer allows you to, to use a scanner charge to send a modified signal to a junction, scrambling it. So that means here... Integrated thermostat heat sinks allow this antenna to be activated multiple times before overheating. Huh. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. I need a circuit board for that fax machine. Um, okay, hold on a second. Circuit board? Let's make that. I do I do want to get into the, the steel panels, though, too. So this is more of, like, an interesting thing. So this is 0.3. I'd have 0.6 left, right? Then I could go into steel panels or steel doors. Either one. I could afford either one. So I think we'll do both. 
Frequency analyzer and extractor machine shouldn't be receiving anything. Is it even hooked up to phone lines? Let's find out. Now, I kind of assumed the fax machine was going to be something back in there that we don't have access to yet. But this, from my understanding, is where we store our logs and things. Transmission fragment. Accountant Alejandro Lopez has reappeared after an eight-year absence, claiming to have no memory of where he has been and no awareness of the amount of time that has passed. This is from a reporter signed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, so hold on a second. Let's take these. Yeah, see store and fax machine there. Take these. Man, I don't think I have anything else. I'll take these and store them. Uh, here, I guess. Okay, a fax machine. Inventory. Transfer all. Sweet. Okay, <laughs> that was, yeah, sweet. I mean, it's a place to store them, okay? I like it. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's totally, totally cool. And maybe that'll come into play later. Who knows? Let's go, um... I'm looking here. Maybe I should go steel panels. Because they have a higher impact resistance than the doors. So that might be better for us uh, long term. Steel panels. Absolutely adequate. I'll take adequate. That's how my wife describes me all the time. Just absolutely adequate. I'm like, sweet, thanks. Um, so we need steel sheets. I have, I actually have one steel panel here. So we are going to make one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, we can recycle these, I suppose. We'll do that after. One thing I'm a little worried about is, like, if I use up the vinyl of stuff that I really like, is there going to be a way that I can create more of that later, or am I beholden to what I find? Yeah, my steel panel is my hood, which is great. a better plan. Uh, actually, wait. I'll install these first. She's looking good. Okay, we can fire up our checklist here just to see. Yeah, so the car does need a few repairs. Let's grab the putty. I'm sure at some point or somewhere in that upgrade list is something that's like you come into the shop and everything just gets repaired. Oh, that door is cracked. So we need a, uh, what is it? A s ceiling kit or something? Holes and leaks? Yeah, okay, sweet. So that's for the tires and for the broken glass. Door's good. This door is not good. But check it out when it closes. No more honks. 
I kind of miss it. <laughs> I kind of miss it, not gonna lie. Uh, okay. So that's done. Let's put this away. Cool. And now what we can do... Vacuum our shop. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Uh, cool. Transfer everything out. I like how it picked up the trunk as well. Cool. And this scrapper, I'm just gonna recycle. I wonder... Interesting. I, I wonder if it gives you a reduced amount based on the durability. Because if it doesn't, that's kind of a neat little deficiency trick if you want to go a little crazier, you know? Um, okay, I'm just trying to see what other interesting things might be out here. Athletic Stimulation Station? Such a generously sized target. How difficult could it be to score a few points? Huh. I wonder what that does. Uh, survival Tools is probably one of the things we need to start filling out. Uh, the headlights, yes. The bumper stuff, yes. Make our car a little bit more uh, buff. We need the car, or the uh, wheels. We definitely need uh, more expansion racks, but I'm happy with what we have right now. The car storage stuff, obviously nice to have. Fuel-wise, not something we've looked at. There's a large fuel can. So far, fuel seems fine. There's some ways to get around having to charge your batteries. Jump jacks. Mobile workbench. So you can craft more complex items on the road. Magnetic bumper. Helps you to collect loose scraps from the ground as you drive. Oh, neat. I wonder if you could just, like... I wonder how far the range is. Because you could just, you know, break cars down and then it'll automatically get attracted. And then, of course, uh, getting a better engine would be nice. But uh, that will require some pretty significant stable energy. Okay. We already visited this, but we'll clear the checklist. We'll break down whatever gift we've been given in this car. Sweet. Hey, a go-kart steering wheel. Hello. Thanks for that. For the frivolous driver, particular cosmetic hints that everything is just a game. You don't say. Let's put that in. And I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead. Oh, there. We can install the UFO now. We couldn't do that in the last one. Uh, so we have the spaceship steering wheel. We can install the go-kart just to switch switch it up. I'm cool with it. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Okay. Bring cosmetic items back to the garage and equip them. Uh, we did do that. That's cool. So she wants us to go back to Sierra now. That's, I'm not going to lie, a little... Uh, it's a little concerning. Because that area was super sketch. We have one battery jumper. I think that's probably good. Um, we haven't been able to use the hand vac on anything since we got it. And then we have all our other tools. So, yeah, I think we're good to go here. If you're ready to do this with me, here's a spot. Yeah, see, we've got news. access out we here now. We are completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. I gotcha. Okay, so here's where we need to go, the but this area is mega sketch. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. She missed it. Okay, well. 
If we have to drive through that zone, then so be it. Then so be it. Let me try one thing here. I want to look at this uh, paint stripper and see how this is looking. It says, oh, that's what, oh, okay, cool. So that is, that's what that is. If I go here, does it remove the vinyl? Oh, it does. Oh, cool. Okay. So that just gets, makes it raw like we were expecting. Matcha, off white, or gray. <laughs> Let's try some matcha. Oh, I don't hate it. When you're doing these crude doors, you kind of lose out on the effect, right? Like, a little bit of a bummer. Can I do the bumper? No. But this is the price we pay for beauty. Just look through the garbage to see the... the life underneath. I actually kind of like keeping the hood like that, actually. Looks like you can paint the chassis. Sure. Okay, that does matter. Fully decorate your car by equipping one of each kind of cosmetic item and painting. Okay, I got an achievement, guys. We did it. We've won the game. Sweet! We have some upgrades. A lot of extra storage will help us. The goal will always to be try to bring back as much as we can. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to wrap it up as we jump through the... Well, the jump. And we'll see you on the other side. Now, can I actually go straight here? No, I have to go through here. Which is very concerning. Although, maybe I could go here. And then cr create a link to that. Just because I feel like... Look at all the conditions here. But also, it might be kind of fun. <laughs> it might be kind of fun just to see how crazy it is. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wish me luck. See you guys.